Hey YouTube, Craft Farms here with a new customs video. So, first off, are these two wagons. Um, so, if you remember the anhydrous ammonia tanks I had in here, right where that mower is sitting, well, that's what these are now. Uh, so right here's the tanks. And so first off, here, the this is the bigger one that I had, which is this wagon. Uh, this is a propane tank for the house, and I'm going to make a farm update, and you'll see where this will be. This is a diesel fuel tank, and uh, this is the smaller one, which is that wagon. So uh, we'll start off with the big wagon here. So what I did is I, the big wagon was a little bit harder, um, the rivets wouldn't come out, so I had to take a saw and cut it, um, cut it off, and then I cut the piece, cut the thing in half, and then I built the bed out of popsicle sticks, and each of these are about three inches long, uh, then... I was originally only going to have this, these two bottom pieces on the sides, but then on Instagram a couple of guys said I should make it a little bit taller, so I decided that I would take toothpicks and make it a little bit taller. Uh, my original idea with the toothpicks was to put another piece like this across the top of these, but then I decided not to do that. Uh, and then... I went over and painted the whole thing black, except for the John Deere part, and then I painted the bed a green. Um, with this one, it was a lot easier to take out. There were two rivets, which you can see the holes right there and right there, and so that was fairly easy to take off, and then also I cut that one in half and pretty much the same thing. Uh, and these can be hooked together because of the hitches on the back. And it has to be a certain way. Uh, this wagon cannot be in the front because of the way that this is. They collide and then get stuck and then unhook themselves. So, but other than that, they're really cool. So be sure to watch the farm update and like, comment, share, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.